Emily Kane, the showing specialist for the Southbound Group at Village Real Estate. For first time home buyers, real estate terminology can often sound like a foreign language. These are some of the phrases that you'll hear throughout the home buying process that are important to understand as a buyer. The first thing we always advise all of our buyers to do is get pre-qualified for a loan. This can be a quick 10 minute phone call with a lender where they'll ask you a few questions, run some numbers, and then give you an idea of the price range that you should stay within throughout your home search. The next question that I always get asked is how much you'll be responsible for a down payment. This is actually going to depend upon what type of loan you and your lender decide that you'll be using. If you choose to go with an FHA loan, you'll be responsible for 3.5% down. And if you choose to go conventional, it's a minimum of 5% down. And this money is not going to be due until you get to the closing table. The other fees at closing are your closing costs. This is a combination of fees that are required to actually complete the sale of your home. So it'll be proration of taxes and the fees that the attorney who is actually performing the closing will charge and all kinds of other things that your lender will combine and send over to you before we get to closing. We always tell our clients to estimate about 2.5% of the purchase price and that'll probably be a little bit on the high side. So you'll have a little bit more tucked away than you need, but that's always better. Something that you'll be responsible for while you're under contract but before you close is the appraisal. The lender is going to order a third party to go out to the home and just make sure that the value of the home is the same, if not greater, than the purchase price that we've written into your offer. This will probably cost about $400. The other amount that you'll be responsible for before you close is the inspection. You'll have an inspector go out to the home and check it from top to bottom, looking for any imperfections that may need repair. The price for this is going to depend upon the square footage of the home, but it'll probably be somewhere between $350 and $500. The last amount that you may or may not be responsible for are HOA fees. And these fees can range anywhere from $15 a month to several hundred, depending on the amenities that your neighborhood offers. But the fees will cover things like your community pool, neighborhood playground, and even just hiring a landscaping company to maintain the common green spaces and the neighborhood entrance. So these are phrases that are going to come up during your home buying process, and it's so important to us at the Southbound Group that you feel comfortable and well-informed. If there are any other questions that you have, please feel free to reach out or visit us at southboundgroup.com.